Hello, Captain Suba here. Today we officially post the first of our five Pirate Dream Yacht Charter Cruise videos. As we cruise the various Bahamian Islands, we have made videos which we will share so you too can experience some of the beauty, drama, people, and activities that a cruise on a small private yacht can provide. We will begin this journey in Fort Pierce, Florida and run southeast for 82 nautical miles crossing the Gulf Stream. Then we will clear customs and spend the night at Old Bahama Bay Marina and Resort at West End Grand Bahama. The next four videos, which we will post about every two weeks, will explore West End, then Freeport, then we'll go to all the beautiful beaches which are second to none the Grand Bahama has to offer. And finally, we will then show you all the activities that you can enjoy on Grand Bahama Island. We hope to share with you these things in a manner where things are real, not staged, so that you will understand what this type of yacht cruise really is like. If the videos are well received, we will take our next series of videos deeper into the 700 bah Bahamian Islands and Cays, where the water gets even more beautiful and the sand gets wider. But first things first. We hope you enjoy the trip. But we must stop here and thank our three sponsors who made this trip possible. These three first class real estate companies, all located in the heart of the Great Smoky Mountains in Sevierville, Tennessee, were gracious enough to sponsor this trip. These companies will all gladly help you find your perfect mountain getaway. They are Blue Skies Property Management, Tennessee Homes Realty, and Prime Choice Realty. Look them up for their professional help if you're ever in the area. Now for the action. Captain Suba, out. Preparation is very important before you leave on any ocean going um, trip. We've done all of that. We have um, checked the engines, the boat, we've got our navigational route set. We have our food, we've got spare parts, uh, we've looked at the weather, and we're ready to go. The boat, of course, we live on part-time, and, and over time the lines get tight, knots get tight, hoses get in the way, uh, so we've got to clear all of that clutter and get the boat mobile. Uh, we will then go to the fuel dock and top off the tanks. We will then make uh, final uh, checks on our entries into the navigational system to make sure everything is appropriate and then we will settle down move out of the marina out through the inlet and into the Atlantic Ocean. We'll be running at about 130 degrees southeast. It's an 82 nautical mile trip. Uh, it'll take about six hours. Um, we hope to see a lot of activity on the ocean today, but with the thunderstorm threat, we may have a lonely trip, but we'll see. Um, we hope you sit back and enjoy uh, the views and the scenery, and we will see you on the other side. As we pass the Coast Guard Station, this next segment of land is where the Navy SEALs were originally founded and originally trained. The museum here is a must-see if you're ever in Fort Pierce. 
the area in front of these condos, and it'll be shown on a chart in a moment, is where seven Spanish galleons sunk in 1715. Originally there was 12 galleons, five sunk elsewhere, and these seven went down here. They were carrying the largest payload of gold and treasure ever attempted to be shipped from the Spanish main to Spain. That is why this is called the Treasure Coast. As we cross the Gulf Stream shown by the chart, which runs all along the coast of Florida, we note that it is a navigational challenge. The water moves at four knots in a northerly direction and the Gulf Stream moves 3.9 billion cubic feet of water per second. And so this area can be challenging if the weather is not in your favor. As you can see today, we have calm waters, one to two feet. Um, if the wind blows out of the north, the seas can go to six, eight, 10 feet here through the Gulf Stream area. But today, we got lucky. A few rainstorms will have to work around but just sit back and enjoy the view. This trip takes about six hours, but of course this video uh, has been dramatically shortened. Land ho! Off the bow is West End Grand Bahama. We'll be going into Old Bahama Bay Resort and Marina, clear customs, get fuel, and spend the night. We raise the yellow flag to alert customs that we have yet to clear. As we enter the marina, we will sit back until they contact us to come to the customs office and do our paperwork to receive our cruising permit. Once that occurs, then we will get fuel and tie down the boat. We've arrived, the boat is tied down, and now to clean up, eat, rest, and get ready for the next segment of the trip. As we watch the sun go down on our first segment, this is why we cruise the Bahamas. We hope you enjoyed the video. If so, please share with your friends and associates. Our next segment will highlight Old Bahama Bay Marina at West End Grand Bahama. Again, it'll be posted in about two weeks. Please follow our social media for the posting date and follow us on all of our social media, which we will show on the screen momentarily. Again, a large thank you to Blue Skies Property Management, Tennessee Homes Realty, and Prime Choice Realty for sponsoring the trip. Look them up the next time you're in Sevierville, Tennessee, if you have any real estate needs. We will see you on the next segment. Captain Suba, out. Captain Suba here. This is the world headquarters of Pirate Dream Yacht Sales. And understand, it's not on the beach. It's right here in the middle of the Great Smoky Mountains in Sevierville, Tennessee. I choose to live here because of its beauty, its convenience, and it's very economical. Michelle Clay here helped me get this home initially, and she would like to comment on a few of the options that are available in real estate in our community. I'm Michelle Clay, and I own Tennessee Homes Realty in Sevier County, Tennessee. I focus on new construction homes, three bedroom, two bath, usually 1,000 to 2,000 square feet. Most people that come to East Tennessee locate here because of the low taxes and all that Sevier County and East Tennessee has to offer, the, the area lakes, fishing, hiking, uh, shopping, lots of good shopping. Um, so whether you're a first time home buyer or you're retiring to East Tennessee, just give us a call. We would love to work with you and help you find your perfect home in East Tennessee.